Hey, what's up you guys? Sharkness Prime here, giving you another Marvel Legends update video on today's Hasbro Pulse fans first Marvel Monday Hasbro Marvel Teams live stream reveals. If you're trying to get your new Marvel Legends, you can do so at Big, Big, Big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. While you're down there, I ask you to please hit that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. So uh, this is something that I thought was going to be closer to like a New York Toy Fair showroom reveal uh for whatever reason i guess maybe with all the toy fair reveals with it being the season uh, today's february 21st i thought we we're going to get something along the lines of what we used to see in the showroom over in new york city uh but that is not the case today there is some very cool stuff so let's just get on with it uh they started pretty strong with the rhino reveal yeah we're getting uh the rhino redone over here and it looks pretty good. They already have samples in hand and everything. Uh, you can see that they changed the shoulders on the Rhino figure, which I thought was a pretty smart move. And they also gave it some different paint apps, which I think is pretty dope. So I'm happy to see this, especially there's a lot of people out there that missed out on the Build-A-Figure. So here's your chance to get it. And I think it's a good looking figure. Uh, they have the same, you know, uh, retro Spidey card back over there. It'll be available uh, to pre order on Tuesday, the 22nd. Uh, but yeah, great looking Rhino figure, new head sculpt too. So I'm happy about that. I think both of those are new head sculpts. So uh, I thought it was kind of funny what they were talking about uh, the stages of uh, uh, Dwight's rage. But anyway, moving on, we got a new Spider Man figure, not a Toby Spider Man figure, but we got the Future Foundation Stealth Mode Spider Man. And that is with the retro body mold, or I think they explained it as it being on actually the Sunfire body mold, right? Because he said it was the Spider-Man 2099 mold. So they didn't use the retro body with this one. He specified them using the Sunfire slash, you know, updated Spidey 2099 body. Uh, it looks pretty cool. So it's going to be like a Webman. And I like the Webman. Uh, those black pins stick out to me more now than ever. Uh, it was something that didn't really bother me so much in the past, but it has been bothering me more and more as they're able to make more figures with pinless joints. So I'm probably going to have to paint that one. Ah, I'm not going to paint it now. No, but anyway, next reveal. Um, uh, God, but <laughs> just wanted to mention, I am disappointed that this is the only Spider-Man reveal. I was really hoping for some No Way Home stuff, but they disclosed at the beginning that we're getting no, no Way Home stuff. No, No Way Home. But we get a what if build a figure Ultron. This looks sick. Now, it's just a 3D render at this point. Yeah, I dig 3D renders, and it looks awesome. I thought the concept for this character was actually pretty cool, so I'm happy to see it. And they also said that uh, the Kate Bishop Hawkeye and the Clint Barton Hawkeye figures will be released in the same wave as this Ultron Build-A-Figure. So, pretty stoked to see this one, even though I wasn't the biggest fan of What If, but I did like this Ultron. Like, the, the way the Infinity Stones rest on the chest like that, I think it's pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, can't wait to see what the actual production, uh, or prototype looks like. And then they start talking about the, uh, the animated series, uh, figures and we got the Jubilee right over here, which I wish they had the bubblegum head because I broke mine. And then we have Mr. Sinister right over here and they teased us saying that we need to get more female figures, no more figure, but we do get a storm. I don't know. I don't know. It looks all right. It looks all right, I guess. I just feel like the cell shading thing doesn't really come across as well as I'd hoped. I, there's something with this that's throwing me off, and I can't really pinpoint what it is. Maybe it's the face sculpt. The hair doesn't look bad, um, but I, I always felt like in the cartoon she looked really shiny and silvery. Maybe if it was silver, I would like it more, but they're going for the two-tone uh, cartoon look. I like that they're reusing those electric hands that we've gotten with the classic storm figure from the Thunderbird two pack. But yeah, dude, um, I don't know. What do you think of this one? This, I feel like I don't have a reason to not like it, but for whatever reason, I'm not liking it. I, I don't know what to say. It, it, I feel kind of stuck here, but not God awful or anything. For some reason, it's just missing the mark. For some reason, 
I can't explain why at this point it's missing the mark for me. I don't know why. You let me know how you feel about it. But yeah, here's Ryan holding both uh, the last uh, Retro Card Storm and this version right over here. And he's happy to play with it. Oh, man, he's stoked. All right, let's move on. And oh, yeah, we got the package image right over here. I want to show that off. See, like the reference material, I guess the hair is more wavy and stuff. I guess that's what's throwing me off with it. But, but yeah, this will be available soon. I guess that's the thing that's throwing me off is is the hair should be all over the place. Maybe this is maybe I don't know what maybe she came with an alternate head. But even in the packaging, it looks like it's more silver than white. In the comics, I would always get confused whether silver or white you could. But anyway, I, I can't say anyway, we saw this coming with the blue Marvel. Congratulations, book nice 10. They are making your figure. You've been asking for this so many times. I personally don't know much about blue Marvel. I remember him appearing uh, shortly when uh, the ultimates uh, line, you know, the Mark Millar's ultimates mixed with the six one six. That's where I remember him briefly, but not even that much. And uh, yeah, the figure looks pretty dope. It looks like the Grim Reaper body mold parts. If, if I'm not mistaken, I can't really pinpoint it uh, at this moment. The jacket's covering some stuff up over here. Yeah, that's my guess is that it's like the uh, it's the Grim Reaper body mold. Like I could be wrong about that. But anyway, we have Dwight right over here holding the blue flame effects. We've seen these effects many times before. And yeah, that is that is looking pretty, pretty sweet. So yeah, I'm happy to have new characters on my shelf. I have no complaints about this at all whatsoever good looking head sculpt and everything so yeah man i like that vest that vest looks pretty sick and then uh we have another brand new reveal this is the 70 model 70 iron man way to not screw that up russ but yeah uh this looks pretty sweet they announced that e rivera 94 is going to post a review on this uh fairly soon so i'm stoked for him uh, them giving him that opportunity. This looks really cool. I'm not really familiar with it. They explain that this is an Alex Ross design and everything. This is from the contemporary books. And um, I'm, I'm just not particularly familiar with this armor. But I love having new armors in my collection, as you guys know. So I'm looking forward to, uh, to that review coming up. And then next we have Speedball. Finally, Speedball. This is actually probably my favorite reveal of the day uh really I, i'm really excited about this i i love the sunfire body mold and i think the way the spots came out on the forearms and uh and the legs just look really really good the head sculpt looks great i like how it's wafting off to the side and everything uh i wonder if he's gonna come with effects that, that's one thing that um that i was just thinking about like oh like what kind of effects are we going to see with speedball here and then this should be uh reviewed by toy bro coming up pretty soon too so they announced that as well congrats to toy bro and moving on to the next one we have a new madam hydra and this looks uh, okay not what i envision when i think of madam hydra like with that hairstyle but i do like that hair so uh not bad just where did that hairstyle come from i don't know it's probably a specific uh artist proof or something i i don't know where they got the reference from but it doesn't look bad cool i'm down to add her to the shelf i already have madam hydra but getting an updated version is cool with me especially because i do like the head sculpt and then for another re-release figure we are getting a new U.S. agent. Yeah, I feel like we've needed a new new, a new a U.S. agent for quite some time. Uh, we are seeing them reuse the same body parts as the previous Captain America. Not the 20th anniversary and the 80 years Captain America body mold, but it's this is using the one before that in um, the vintage collection body that they had used in... That that works okay for U.S. Agent, I think. I'm not expecting chain mail on him or anything, so I'm okay with that body mold on this. And I really like the new head sculpt. I'm very happy with the shield. Shield looks great. And yeah, I, I don't remember there being blue on it and stuff. But hey, you know what? <laughs> I could be wrong about that. I'm gonna leave an annotation down below correcting myself one way or another. But it looks pretty good to me. And I'm happy to have this updated U.S. agent. My shield, you know, I I had to customize mine. They didn't have the dot deco on there. So I had to make it up myself and drummel out the star. So I'm happy to have an official correct version of the U.S. agent. Stoked about that one for sure. But uh, one that I'm not stoked about is the Thor figure. Because I don't remember this version of Thor at all. Like, this is just not hitting any 
marks for me. I guess it's a young Thor. We have Dwight shredding the package open in the video, and he's knocking stuff over. He's showing the box right there. There's a Build-A-Figure that they didn't want us uh, to see yet, and uh, yeah, so he's going and uh, as Dave uh, Wonder likes to say, gripping and ripping. Uh, which makes me, which paints a whole other picture in my mind, but I'm a gross SOB, but, uh, <laughs> but this figure looks really, really cool. And, and we get the Ravens right over there. Look how, how Dwight's pretty stoked, man. And then, yeah, uh, the, 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 the figure itself doesn't look bad. It's got pinless joints and everything. Uh, you have that whole Mjolnir effect and stuff. Like if, if I was familiar with this design, I'm sure I would like it a whole lot more, but yeah, you get the translucent blue plastic and then you can see him adding the electric effect to it and everything. So not a bad looking figure, just, uh, something that I'm not personally attached to. He's got the long flowy, uh, blonde hair and he's a lot thinner and not the big bulky Thor. Uh, but yeah, I, not a bad looking piece, a lot of texturing and sculpting stuff in there. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below, but then next we got quake which i'm stoked to have quake yeah man and i love that we're seeing that shriek body mold and we have dwight holding her with the interchangeable uh quink quake gauntlets right there and you could also swap it out so that you have a maria hill so that's cool we can get an updated maria hill i don't know what's with the mouth i i don't know how much i like the open mouth thing going on right there but there's quake again and yeah this looks sweet you could troop build her army builder and everything and it looks really good i do like that head sculpt on quake a lot and the maria hill head sculpt i like too i, I you know the the gesture with just the upper lip moving kind of trips me out a little bit i don't know like try to make that face yourself it's gonna hurt and um but yeah other than that i like that she has the headset and everything they did they, they give maria hill just one quake gauntlet did she do that at one point in the books i don't know but moving on you can see that yeah you could swap that out for the gun so i like that you have those interchangeable parts right there and then uh lastly from this wave we have the build a figure and that is the controller they re revealed this with dwight just holding the figure right there you can see that they're reusing the deluxe thanos body mold and yeah i'm briefly you know, vaguely familiar with the controller not you know not uh not the first time i've seen him or anything but um yeah i like the obs more obscure type characters and everything getting all the new characters and stuff doesn't bother me at all i can't say i'm that excited about it because we're not seeing much new as far as sculpting goes so it's like all right cool but you know it, it's a new character to add to the collection so i'm i'm happy for that part of it and um yeah even though you know my shelves are, are getting uh smaller and smaller with all these figures coming out but it does look pretty sweet i like how the head sculpt came out and everything and uh, yeah it looks very good and then you can see that we have the pre-order going up tuesday the 22nd 222 22 and uh yeah so i will be pre-ordering this and i'm i i will be you know oh semi excited to get it I, I can't say i'm absolutely thrilled with this wave um it looks cool though there's some pieces here that i'm really happy to get my hands on i guess the only one i'm really not that excited about is really maybe the thor and the controller and maybe the iron man you know but the iron man does look cool so we'll see and then dwight busted out the big old galactus to show us how galactus was doing and i'm happy he gave us this demonstration over here he's very happy holding it as you can see that's his baby right there and you get the light up feature and it looks really really good nice and bright and you can see the back of it right there i'm excited i did back this for sure you know it and uh he demonstrated the articulation and holy crap that thing is ratcheted like crazy it is loud man which i think is great but this dude actually had the legs straightened out and he was slapping the top of it i didn't catch it on video but you could watch the live stream and i'll put a link in the description below it's towards the end but yeah he was slapping that leg and it was not falling down so they listen man uh, I'm, I'm telling you you guys I, i'm not getting paid to say this or anything but these guys listen they saw the complaints with the sentinel knees and they have addressed it here with the galactus some other issue comes up i don't know but <laughs> hopefully not but hey it, this is just another time once again proof that hasbro listens so you can be mad at them all day but they're still listening yeah i definitely have my complaints with hasbro man don't be confused all right anyway uh they showed off this moon knight poster over here and 
uh, sure enough, uh, we're going to get some Moon Knight figures. So I'm looking forward to that. Little Disney promo right there, March 30th. So looking forward to that. And then they have our final tease right over here. We get a little beaker and, uh, yeah, or the flask. And uh, I'm probably calling it, or test tube, I'm calling it all the wrong names. But uh, who, what is this for? Is this, I, I, I don't know. Um, I, I really, really don't know. I tried thinking about it a little bit, but I, I'm, I, I think of Mr. Fantastic, but we got a bunch of Mr. Fantastic figures already. And it's specifically pink like that. It reminds me of Emperor's New Groove, right? Is anyone else thinking Emperor's New Groove over here? But uh, I'm, I guess maybe because uh, my kids and watching Disney movies, uh, I'm thinking Emperor's New Groove. So we're definitely getting a llama Marvel Legends figure. So it's totally not going to be it. Or Beast. Is this going to be a new Beast? I bet it's going to be a Beast figure, animated Beast, right? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. But anyway, uh, yeah, it was... As always, it's fun to watch these live streams. I have a good time watching them. Uh, the, the Marvel Hasbro team is very energetic, and they're a lot of fun, and they tease and stuff like that. But at the same time, I am disappointed in the lack of reveals. This is just not as much stuff as I was hoping to see revealed this week, especially with Toy Fair. Uh, as I mentioned before in another video, I'll be talking about more Toy Fair releases from other companies so stay tuned for those videos i uh, will also have reviews coming up later this week as well uh, my rent trial wave is on the way uh, it has been delayed so i was expecting that to show up a while ago and it's still not here so kind of bummed out about that but that those reviews will come up uh, as soon as i can get them up there all right hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching hit that like hit that subscribe button and i will catch you guys later peace Hey, new Sharp Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.